Now, in 2018, nearly 11,000 cases of human trafficking were reported to the National Human Trafficking Hotline, and too many of those cases were right here in Kentucky. During this Human Trafficking Awareness Month, LAX 18's Claire Kofke sat down with a group that is trying to make a difference right here in the bluegrass. She has that story now, new on Sunday. I think that, that surprises a lot of people, but it's a $32 billion industry. It's second behind the drug trade. You can make a million dollars off a girl in, or boy um, in one year. So it's, it's lucrative and that's why people do it. It's a national crisis that doesn't discriminate. Traffickers can look like anyone. It's male, female, all races, all creeds. Victims can look like anyone, all ages, all races, all creeds. I mean, that's the hard part. Eileen Levy works for the Well of Lexington. It's a safe haven for women who are victims of human trafficking to help them get back to a normal life. Most of the women that are in the program were born and raised in Kentucky. If that sets off a red flag for anybody. And I, I think that that hits home for Kentuckians thinking, again, it doesn't happen here, and it does. Happening here in Fayette County. The most common form of trafficking in the state of Kentucky is called familiar trafficking. That is where families, so your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, are selling the children, the grandchildren, their wives. Levy says organizations like The Well need those willing to work on their team, funding in order to help more victims and also help identifying victims. If you suspect you see um, a trafficking victim, um, one, trust your gut instinct, listen to that. A lot of times, you know, maybe they can be disoriented, it's a coach speech, the physical appearance, malnourishment. We ask that you go to the human trafficking hotline because what that's gonna do is help somebody, they'll, they'll call local organizations. Don't approach um, someone because you could actually get them in trouble. In trouble with the very person that's keeping them trapped in the industry. Like Eileen said, if you or someone you know are a victim of human trafficking or you think that you see something, you're encouraged to call the hotline number that you'll see here at the bottom of your screen. You can also text BE FREE to 233-733. Those trying to combat this large industry say the community's help is what will help them combat the crisis one victim at a time. Claire and Chris, back to you. All right, Claire.